Chronic fatigue syndrome, also known as myalgic encephalomyelitis, is a disease, a biological disease, that has symptoms that range from extreme fatigue and headaches to problems concentrating as well as muscle pain, very broad range of symptoms. And up to two and a half million Americans are thought to have it. What we found is that there are changes in the blood that we can use to identify individuals in the early phases of disease. And by early, we mean three years or less after the onset of symptoms. And we believe that these types of blood tests may be able to help clinicians make a diagnosis more rapidly. Up to 70% of people have delay in their diagnosis for at least a year, and sometimes more than 10 years. It's really important to get the diagnosis as early as possible so that we can at least begin to be thinking about treatment strategies. We found evidence that strongly supports, for the first time, I think, in a very large cohort of subjects, that we are seeing a disorder that is not psychological, but is biological. Patients are often left wondering why they're just not getting better. Maybe they're not trying hard enough and pulling up on the old bootstraps. It is something that is not a matter of a will to get better. It's a matter of a physical condition that is preventing people from getting better. The disease has distinct stages, and probably there are distinct treatments that are appropriate for those different stages. We can measure this in the blood with a blood test. This can bring individuals who have been denied a diagnosis and denied recognition of their illness, it can bring them to an early diagnosis that may, in addition, tell us something about what's causing their illness and how potentially to treat it.